everyone, so today I'm going to be filming an updated guinea pig first aid kit. Since posting a picture of my new kit on Instagram, I've had so many requests to refilm this and show what's in my first aid kit. So before I show you what's in my kit, I do have something that I personally like to have in my first aid kit but can't currently get hold of. So I'm going to tell you what it is just so that I can recommend it to you. And that is the Oxbow Natural Science tablets and they're like little compressed hay tablets that contain vitamins and so on and are very good for guinea pigs. I have personally seen so many health benefits from giving those to my guinea pigs. And I usually use the multivitamin ones and I also like to use some for my elderly guinea pigs so you can get things like digestive support, vitamin C, joint support and lots of other different ones and they're all aimed at different different health benefits for your guinea pigs. They're really, really good. They are fairly expensive, but definitely worth it. I usually get mine on eBay or Amazon, but I've had problems recently with my buyer, so can't currently source them. But I just wanted to make sure that I mentioned those because they're a great addition to a guinea pig first aid kit if you can get hold of them. So before I show you all of my products, I will just say that this does not replace a vet visit. These are just precautions. The first aid kit is mostly for emergency situations such as when things happen at times you can't control, such as in the middle of the night, bank holidays and things. But also a lot of these items are recommended directly by my vet. So things like with hay pokes where I want to treat it to soothe the guinea pig so they're not in pain, but I'll still take them to the vet, but it needs soothing at that moment. I've got things for that and so on, but as I say, all of these items pretty much have been recommended by my vet. I've also researched into them a ton. I have years of experience of keeping guinea pigs and fostering guinea pigs, and I have a great deal of experience with pregnancies, elderly guinea pigs, disabled guinea pigs, poorly guinea pigs and everything. So it's been very well researched by myself and recommended by my vet, but never replace a vet visit with a first aid kit. It's just a precaution and something you definitely need, but you also need your vet's contact numbers and have them at hand for any situation. So I keep my first aid kit on the shelf in my toy drawer at the bottom of my three drawers and it works really well because I can access all of my things really quickly and easily, but it also keeps them all hidden and also nice and cool in that area. So there are a couple of things that I can't fit into my kit and they just sit on the side of the shelf. So I've got my weighing scales here that are really incredibly important with guinea pigs. You should be weighing them on a weekly basis. The average weight for a guinea pig is between 700 and 900 grams for a female, maybe a little bit over, and between maybe 900 and 1,200 for a male guinea pig. But of course it can be a little bit different, but around that weight. And you should be weighing them on a weekly basis. These are just kitchen weighing scales. I think I got them from Asda or somewhere like that. They're really inexpensive, but work really well. I also have this tub of petroleum jelly. This also doesn't fit in my kit, so I just have it sitting on the side of the shelf. And this can be used for a variety of things. I've heard of a lot of people using them when guinea pigs have mites to soothe the skin. Also great to soothe the sore feet and also great to use on a thermometer when you want to take your guinea pigs to temperature and you have to use a rectal thermometer. So here is my actual kit and I absolutely love this. It makes for a perfect first aid kit for a guinea pig. It's so easy to carry around and it keeps them all nice and safe in one area rather than being scattered everywhere. And I can take it in and out of the shed as I please. So it's a, of course, a toolbox. I find that toolboxes work great for storage purposes because they're strong, fairly inexpensive. This must have cost me around between 10 to 15 pounds. So pretty, similar to what you'd pay for a storage box that's that's not as good, isn't as strong and doesn't have all of these compartments. So this toolbox is Matt Allister. I've never heard of the brand before but I just like the way it looked and it functions. It works great for what I need it for. It's got this very, very heavy duty handle on top which is perfect for carrying the toolbox around. 
the toolbox is fairly heavy so a big heavy duty handle on this works really well as well as that handle it has this top section here that stores all my little bits and then it has a bottom section that stores all my bigger items it has some heavy duty heavy duty clasps on the front and then this is the bit i love so to kind of separate the bottom and the top you just do that and you can see everything that's in your first aid kit really nicely and i love that feature it's so handy and so easy to use so let's first of all take a look at what's in the top compartment of my first aid kit. So in these compartments I kind of keep little bits and bobs that would get lost in the larger compartment. This works great and these little I, tub type things lift in and out and I've got more I could add if I wanted to. So just over here the first thing I have is a little mini magnifying glass. This is great for looking at anything closely on the guinea pigs especially when looking through the fur for mites or anything like that. I have a couple of tweezers here, another great thing for removing anything or taking a closer look at things. I have some earbuds just here. These are not for cleaning the guinea pig's ear ears. I use them to dab on treatments or to help me look through the fur and all sorts of things like that really. They're not for looking in the ear at all so don't be putting any of these down your guinea pig's ears but they will work great for putting ointments and things on your pets. Just here, this isn't first aid, but I have a couple of spare springy water bottle things just in case I need to use them on my travel cage really. I then have a small tub of Vaseline. This does the same as a petroleum jelly. It's just a little handy tub, small sized one that I like to keep in here. At the back here, I have my Beefer eye gel. This is one of my top recommended products. I've had guinea pigs with eye pokes in the past and my vets always recommend this. It's just a cooling eye gel. It helps to kind of flush out the eye and relieve it and it works really, really well. Duffy's very prone to hay pokes, so I use this on her a lot. And like I say, my vets recommended it. It's a great product. In this little compartment here, I have four bottles of Iron Mestin. I think that's how you say it and it's just an anti-parasite treatment and I like to have this as a precaution. I always keep labels and the date. I like cut, to cut out the little date of products and keep them with them. It's very important that you know how to use it, know what it is and know when the date will run out. So I like to keep those all together there. I have the leaflet here for my Infocol that I'll show you in a second and the date. And then just at the back here, I have another eye product, which is the Optrex Soothing Eye Drops for itchy eyes, relieves irritation caused by pollen, pet hair, and dust mites. This is basically for, obviously for my guinea pig's eyes, for when they ever have things like dust, or hay pokes, or infections, and the eye needs flushing out, soothing, and cleaning. This is a great little product for that. So in this little compartment here, I have kind of bits and bobs. So just here, I've got a thermometer. I also have an eye light just here. This is a great little product for not only just looking in the eyes, but also for looking into their fur or just into any areas that you're finding difficult to see. You can use the magnifying glass and the eye pen. I have a couple of syringes. I always recommend having at least one small one and one larger one. I have a spoon. This always comes in handy for feeding anything like critical care or mushed up pellets and measuring them out. I have one of my top products, my Sudocrem. This is a skincare cream, ideal for use at home or away, soothes and protects. It's mostly advertised for babies, but it's completely set, safe for pets. As I say, my vet's recommended, especially this, I've been recommended this several occasions, and Sudocrem also have an article on their website all about using it with pets. It's completely safe, and it's the cream I'll use for minor cuts and sores that the guinea pigs tend to have if they're playing about or jumping about and it soothes and heals them really really quickly and it's one of my favorite products to use with them and finally at the back here i've got my bottle of Infocol. this is a medication that relieves wind infant colic 
and gripping pain. Infocol oral suspension is suitable to use from birth onwards. So it's basically aimed at babies, but it's completely safe for guinea pigs. Again, this is a precaution item. This, if you haven't guessed already, is to relieve bloating and gas. Guinea pigs do not pass wind like humans for example so bloating and gas can happen but can be very very dangerous and can be extremely painful for your guinea pig so this is just a precaution item to help relieve that the average dose for this would be one mil a day but i have heard of people using one mil three times a day for very serious conditions this again is a vet approved product that i've been recommended and has been very very good for helping guinea pigs to pass well not pass the gas but relieve it so we will now look at this section of the first aid kit so in this section, I've got two tubs in the middle. Again, I did have more tubs, but I've put some items aside, some this side, and then the two tubs are holding bits that can't quite fit in these little sections up here. So I'll start off on this side. The first thing I have here is a pack of Sainsbury's Little Ones 15 hand and face wipes. These are antibacterial fragrance free wipes that are safe for babies. I use these mostly for wiping surfaces and cleaning up items. They're very handy for that. But I can also use them, for example, when Pippin was alive, he was a white guinea pig. He'd get pea stains on the back of his fur where he couldn't reach to clean, but weren't bad enough to require bathing him so I'd use something like this to wipe him up and clean him up. I then have this bottle of Metatone Tonic. This is a fantastic product with guinea pigs. It's a liquid medication. That's what the bottle looks like. You get a nice big bottle. It's not the cheapest but it is a fantastic product for picking up poorly guinea pigs. The kind of main reason people use it is to induce and regain a guinea pig's appetite and the usual dosage for this would be 0.5 mil daily for the first week and 0.3 mil daily for the second week but it does generally just pick up poorly guinea pigs on average with most illnesses it will pick them up it's a fantastic product this is just the original flavor one I wouldn't go for any flavors or anything but great product something i've had for years and something i really like to have as a precaution in my first aid kit i also forgot to mention that the metatone tonic is fantastic for boosting energy i then have this bottle of gripe water the main reason for this again would be bloating gas it's a great little product i personally would use two mil daily but i have heard of people using three mil daily it's a nice little baby designed product again it says here relief of wind and gripe and just another precaution, I know I've got the Infocol as well, but I like to have a few different items to add to my first aid kit. So we'll now go on to this side. Just here I've got my pack of Critical Care Apple and Banana. Critical Care, I highly recommend. This is something I suggest you seriously consider having in your first aid kit if you haven't already. Fantastic pick-me-up for guinea pigs. You, It's like a powder consistency you add it to water and syringe feed any guinea pigs that are refusing to eat finding it hard to eat even just as a pick-me-up this is a great little product and I've used this time and time again and it's picked up my guinea pigs really quickly when Pippin was diagnosed with cancer my vet recommended I feed this on a daily basis and I did and I actually got him eating again so his last few days even though he was dying and I knew that he was this critical care helped him to eat again so at least he was enjoying the last moments of his life because he was able to enjoy and eat his food. I then have this stethoscope for obviously checking their heart rate. Just here I've got this metanium nappy rash ointment. Nappy rash ointment and creams are fantastic for any guinea pigs with sore feet and can help to kind of almost put a barrier on the feet and protect their feet and in time their feet will improve with it and this is something I use with Casper he is genetically prone to sore feet it doesn't cause him any issues he's just always genetically been that way his history shows that and so I like to protect him and keep a barrier on his feet just to prevent him from 
being in pain or having sore feet. I then have another eye wash treatment. This is just a cheaper version. It's the Sainsbury's own and this is just an eye wash and bath. I know the Optrex was, is a very similar product but that's more for soothing itchy eyes and this is more for washing them out. So I wanted to pick this up just so I had a bit of a variety with the eye cleaning products. I then have this Beef for Guinea Pig Vitamin Solution. I pretty much never use this. Again, it's a precaution item. For example, if a guinea pig wasn't eating and because of that they weren't getting the vitamins they needed, then I'd use this. I would never add it to water because it could either put your guinea pig off water which could cause further problems or it could make them really like that water and not drink normal water which isn't good either so I'd add it to kind of a treat or something but it's just a precaution again I hardly ever use it but it's a handy little thing to have. Just on this side here I've got this little jar bottle of olive oil. Olive oil is another great item for bloat and it's a nice natural item for bloating and also for constipation, similar kind of thing I know, but um, if a guinea pig, pigs aren't passing poop and are struggling to pass poop, then olive oil is a nice natural remedy for helping them pass through the poop and overcome that and overcome the constipation. It's a really nice little natural product to have. I then have this TCP liquid antiseptic, just a type of antibacterial type thing, and it soothes pain, fights infection. It's a great item like it says there, for preventing infections from occurring and this has to be diluted before using it. I personally like to dilute it and it's recommended to dilute it. So I then have these middle sections here. Now just in this one I have this little tub of Trimex. Trimex is just a powder like treatment and it's very important to have if you do trim your guinea pig's nails yourself. It's basically if you cut too far and you've cut into the quick and the nails are bleeding, you need something to stop the bleeding immediately and to prevent it from continuing bleeding, which is what Trimex does. So you just use the powder to dab on. Thankfully, I've never had to use it, but you use the powder to dab onto the nail. It looks like that and it just stops the bleeding immediately. I then have some coconut oil. This is great for cleaning grease glands and I've also seen lots of skinny pig owners use it to help soothe the skinny pig's skin and also clear the skin of build up in dirt. So in this little tub here, something very important, I've got some measuring spoons of various sizes. We also have these little gel pad things. These are obviously for supervision only. These are the type of thing I'd recommend having, for example, to use for a guinea pig on your transport to the vet so when you can hold it against them or anything. So we've got a heat pad and a cooling pad, both very, very useful and inexpensive to find. I also do have some bandages in here, never had to use them, but something that all guinea pig owners recommend having in a kit just in case. Also in here I have got Dioralite. This is a treatment for dehydration so if your guinea pigs are refusing to drink water and are very dehydrated in an emergency situation this is flavoured water basically and it has some vitamins and nutrients in it so that you can syringe feed it to them it'll boost their energy and should hopefully encourage them to drink. I also have some dressing pads in here so I've got several of these Again, something I've not really ever had to use, but handy to have. So I then have my grooming kit, which I personally consider a first aid type thing as it's a health benefit. Obviously I use this quite a lot. I used to keep them all together, but I decided to separate this as I use it more frequently, thankfully, than the first aid items. So there, again, this is a toolbox, a really great little handy type carrier one that is great for just easy storage in the shed and grabbing my combs, brushes, nail clippers, shampoos and everything fairly quickly. So this is by Stanley and it's the Sortmaster 29 by 6.3 by 21 centimeter toolbox. So here is my grooming kit. 
just on this side of the grooming kit I have got some grooming deodorizing spray I don't really use this on my guinea pigs now but I used it with Bailey a lot he was a Peruvian long-haired guinea pig and it works great to prevent you having to shampoo them it helps get the dirt out gives them a nice fresh smell so I used to use that quite a lot I also have some of the pets at home shampoo this is the deodorizing shampoo for small pets it's refreshing with aloe vera and it's a really nice one i quite like it in this area here i have my nail clipping items so i've got some baby scissors i've got some actual nail clippers these are just cheap ones off ebay that i've used for years i have some baby nail clippers and i also have a baby nail file this section here is brushes and combs. So I've got two of these combs. I just ended up with two, I didn't purchase two. And I also have my brush. Over this end I have my scissors that obviously I need to have because I do have long haired guinea pigs. And this I would probably have kept in the first aid kit but there wasn't space. And I kind of thought it kind of goes with grooming products as you have to groom this through the fur. One of my top products again, Fly Strike Protector. I put this on quite regularly and it just keeps them protected. And it just says Johnson's Fly Strike Protector for small animals helps to protect against fly strike, helps to keep pets free from flies, also kills fleas, lice, etc. I also do have these two packs of baby food. I keep these in the fridge, which is why they're not in the first aid kit. I could keep them in the first aid kit because it actually says they don't need refrigerating until they're open. But I just keep them in the veggie fridge because it's handy too and it just makes sense too. So baby food's great for encouraging your pets to eat again because it has that extra fruity flavour. And there are a variety of safe ones for your guinea pigs as long as they contain ingredients that you know are safe, such as 100% fruit with a vitamin C, which makes it even better. Apple flavour. And that is by Cowan Gate. And I've also got Heinz here, which is 100% apple and strawberry. So completely safe flavours and those sweet flavours that will encourage them to eat. I use these a lot with my gerbil chip when he was poorly to encourage him to eat. I also use them a lot with Pippin. So he was having the critical care in the morning and having some baby food as a little treat and to encourage him to eat again in the evenings. I also have a couple of things here that have been recommended to me that I haven't had a chance to put into the kit yet. So the first thing I've got here is this sugar-free, colour-free infant Calpol. Gentle pain and fever relief. This is, as it says, to relieve pain and fever and it's supposed to be great for guinea pigs that have been in pain or have an injury so it relieves that pain for them and prevents them from becoming feverish which can be a great concern and for that it, the dosage would be 0.2 milliliter given up to twice daily just to relieve that pain and I didn't really have anything to help although I've got pain relief things I wanted something that did relieve pain of an injury luckily that's never happened but you never know what is going to happen and I've been recommended this on several occasions by professionals so I just went with that and this is just the strawberry flavour which is great because it encourages them to take it. The also the great thing about children's items like this is that they do come with syringes which is really nice that they come with those because it's an extra added little bonus to the first aid kit also. Now my other item that's been recommended to me recently this is a recent recommendation i haven't been recommended it in the past but is this bonjella teething gel and the reason it's the baby version is because it doesn't contain the ingredients that may be harmful for guinea pigs so it's safe for babies safe for guinea pigs this has been recommended to me for sores around your guinea pig's mouth for any guinea pigs that are developing infections or sores that aren't improving so Luckily I've never had that issue with my guinea pigs and hopefully I never will but just in case of it I've been recommended it and thought it might be a good addition to add to the kit just because of you know you never know like I say it's never happened but if I didn't have something for it it probably would happen. So the idea with this is it's supposed to numb 
the area it touches slightly it's not a huge numbing because it's the only the baby version but it's just a slight numbing and it relieves the pain and then it helps to prevent the infection the area from infecting so it's supposed to be a pretty good product for any sores or infections around a guinea pig's mouth so i thought it was worth adding to the kit so that is my guinea pig first aid kit it's so important to have a first aid kit for your pets because you never know what's going to happen i do have a video on basic first aid kit items for guinea pigs and that's definitely for beginners and also for people who maybe only have a couple of guinea pigs i have eight guinea pigs of my own and I foster quite a lot, quite a lot of guinea pigs. So it's important for me personally to have a variety of items that I can use in emergency situations. As I've already said at the beginning, this doesn't replace a vet visit. Vet visits are so important and you need to make sure that you have your vet details as close by as possible. I mean, it's really handy to have contact details maybe in your first aid kit so that it's really easy to access because that's your first instinct with anything unusual with your guinea pig phone your vet and make an emergency appointment and then treat them if they need to be and this is more for someone who's been keeping guinea pigs for quite a while and you know what you're doing especially with the kind of human medication such as the calpol but it's always something that will progress and you'll learn what to use and the measurements and everything I did try and say the dosages of some of the items as that's been requested so you kind of get the idea but it's also good to have a hard copy of that I don't have it on me but I've got a hard copy a little kind of leaflet book I've made of all of the things I don't know off by heart such as the Optrex the Infocol the Calpol and I have measurements for those and what they're used for just for myself and my own safety so I can look back on it and know that's 100% what I'm doing is correct. So that's always a good thing to have too, just a little book or leaflet thing nearby that you can look on and know that you're doing the right thing. So I hope you've enjoyed this updated first aid kit video. Like I say, I have a basic first aid kit video that I'll link below for those of you who are starting out and don't need an extensive kit like this one. But thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you've enjoyed it or if, if it's helped you in any way. Comment down below if there's anything different you use or actually comment down below and list what's in your first aid kit. I'm sure that'd be very useful to anyone who's watching so they can see people's different kits and what's in them. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye everyone.